This is a sample question of speaking task 4 of the TOEFL speaking section. For this question, you will hear part of an academic lecture. You will have to listen to the lecture and summarize the main idea using the points and examples that were given in the lecture. Listen carefully and take notes on the main points and examples presented in the lecture. After you hear the lecture, you will be given 20 seconds to organize your thoughts and prepare to speak. Then, you will have 60 seconds to summarize the lecture. Natural selection, proposed by Charles Darwin, is the process where organisms with advantageous traits survive and reproduce, passing on these traits to their offspring. Over time, this leads to the evolution of species. Natural selection is a key mechanism driving the diversity of life on Earth, as it allows for adaptation to changing environments. For example, consider a population of giraffes with varying neck lengths living in a savanna. Giraffes with longer necks can reach higher leaves, giving them a better chance to survive and reproduce. As a result, the population gradually evolves longer necks suited to their environment. Two key concepts in natural selection are variation and differential reproduction. Variation refers to the differences in traits among individuals, which can arise from genetic mutations or environmental factors. You know how no two animals or plants are exactly the same, right? They come in different sizes, colors, and behave differently. Sometimes this happens because of changes in their genes, like mutations, or because they mix genes with another plant or animal. Other times, it's because of environmental influences, like habitat and nutrition. Differential reproduction refers to the idea that individuals with certain traits are more likely to survive and pass on their genes to the next generation. Organisms with advantageous traits are more likely to survive and reproduce. This process leads to the gradual change in a population over time, as seen in the example of giraffes with longer necks adapting to their environment. In summary, Natural selection is a fundamental mechanism driving the diversity of life. By favoring traits that enhance survival and reproduction, it shapes the evolution of species over time. Using the points mentioned in the lecture, summarize what natural selection is and how it contributes to the diversity of life on Earth. You will have 20 seconds to prepare your response. You will now have 60 seconds to answer the question. You can start speaking now. The lecture explains the concept of natural selection. It is described as a process where organisms with advantageous traits survive and reproduce, leading to the evolution of species over time. It's like a mechanism that drives the diversity of life on Earth by allowing organisms to adapt to changing environments. 
The lecturer used the example of giraffes with varying neck lengths living in a savanna to illustrate how those with longer necks have a better chance of survival and reproduction, resulting in the gradual evolution of longer necks in the population. Additionally, two key concepts in natural selection were discussed. Variation, indicating trait differences among individuals, and differential reproduction, where individuals with certain traits are more likely to survive and pass on their genes to the next generation.